I'm Amanda Ferguson near Kipling and the Queensway with some movie drama that's not happening in the theaters, but rather is playing out on city streets. Some are questioning a movie poster for the latest X-Men film, saying it promotes violence against women. I think the problem with the poster really is that in the movie, that character has a lot of power and she's a heroine. But if people don't know that and they don't understand the context of the movie, all they're going to see when they see that ad is a young woman being choked out by a huge guy. I've never felt power like this before. In the latest X-Men film, it's apocalypse against the good guys. But this Torontonian says this poster's message is bad to the bone. So a friend of mine who's a journalist and I were speaking yesterday and she said someone should start a petition and I thought all right I'll start a petition. Kathy Ziolkowski created this petition Wednesday asking Fox Pictures to take down the ad. By late this afternoon it had just shy of 150 supporters. What are your thoughts when you see it? Um, For me like knowing what it's about I'm I just think oh it's the bad guy trying to hurt a good guy. Um, out of context it is super uncomfortable, to be honest. Um, it's a big dude with his hands around a girl's throat. Even those well-versed in superheroes and villains say while sexualized scenes of violence are nothing new, seeing it as a promotional image isn't selling the right message. It's just, it's everywhere, especially in comics. And like to have that be the example that like, that we have general audiences seeing, it's not really cool. Ziokelski says a superhero size victory would be just keeping the conversation going. There are so many kind of subtle messaging in media images that help women not stand up for themselves or, or make them feel uncomfortable and, and also create an environment where something is, is okay. And I just want people to say, yeah, it's not okay. Coming up, I'll tell you what a branding expert thinks is the real message behind the poster and whether he thinks this is a gamble for the studio. In Etobicoke, Amanda Ferguson, City News. I'm Amanda Ferguson with more on a movie poster that's causing drama right across the GTA. Take a look at this image. It's for the latest X-Men film. Some argue that it promotes violence against women. However, branding expert Tony Chapman sees another message entirely. I think it's great. Instead of the woman being the love interest or being nurtured, she's a hero. And in every comic book story, it's the hero versus the villain. The villain's about to destroy the hero. At the end of the movie, she comes back and wins. I, I'm celebrating the fact that it's a woman. We saw it in Hunger Games. We saw it in Star Wars. And now we're seeing it in this movie. The fact that if you want to sell a great comic book, put women front and center as someone that's going to be part of the team that's going to bring, to bring us to victory. Pulling away from just this one example, is yeah. there a shift in the industry to make, um, say, posters or commercials that um, are very politically correct in this day and age to avoid a potential backlash like this one? Without question. We spent the last 20 years in advertising, uh, I call it making an oatmeal or the Boston Big Lettuce. Make sure you don't offend everybody. Make sure you have all ethnicity covered. Nobody's being subjected to any violence. Make sure it's politically correct. And there's no question we're dealing with that. And we should because society in general, we must, must be much more aware about this whole concept about violence against anybody. But again, I go back. It's a comic book. In a comic book movie, it is about violence. To get a closer look at the poster and to weigh in yourself, you can go to our website, citynews.ca. In Etobicoke, Amanda Ferguson, City News.